Okay, here, but he's still in the protocol. Yes. I think last week, Ron, he was limited all week, so I know you don't like to get in the business of rating these things, but this seems a little bit like progress. Mm -hmm. It's just the next step in the protocol. Uh, what does Trey give this offensive line? Uh, Cam called him a, an alley cat. Um, well, you have to ask Cam the definition of that, but I just know he's a scrappy player. He's a hard-nosed guy. He's a good athlete. Um, you know, he, he's he he he's probably you know one of our better offensive linemen. So it's just good that you know that hopefully he'll get everything get cleared and he'll be ready to roll on Sunday. Ron, you talked about Monday uh, moving past Atlanta. I mean, do you feel like today in practice that that happened? Say that again. Do you feel like today? Do yes, you very much so. You know, unless you brought it up to them in there, they're they're thinking about New Orleans. Um, a couple of your receivers were talking about Lattimore and how, um, you know, lots of praise for him, but also that the secondary looks a little bit different with him in the, in there, saying that they play a little bit riskier on third downs. Do you see that? Well, I mean, again, you got to look at what they do in, in terms of what the calls are, uh, whether or not you, you can say what they're doing is playing risky or are they playing their techniques. So, again, you know, I, I think, you know, when you look at plays that are called, you look at defenses that they're running, you know, what does it call for them to do? more so than I think whether or not they're gambling or more or not. Um, but that could also be his style of play. How different does their defense look with Lattimore on the field? Well, I think the position looks different. You know, I mean, they, they do what they do when you look at it. I, I, don't, I don't think that, you know, the thing that you, you look at is, okay, are the calls that much different? Um, I'm not quite sure if they are or aren't. You know, again, it's just a matter of what your take is on it. But when I watch and I watch him, I think he's a terrific football player and does a lot of good things for them. Greg Olson didn't play in either game. Greg Olson didn't play in either Saints game. How much of a difference do you hope he'll make on Sunday? A lot. I really do. You know, and again, we'll see how it, how it, how it plays out. I mean, you know, um, but if certain things happen, then somebody else has to step up. This is Luke's um, first time, or first, I guess, season leading the NFL in run stop percentage. He's also having a really good season uh, defending running backs and pass coverage. What's it, what is it about his like skill set that will make him a good matchup against Kamara? Well, I think his explosiveness. You know, he, he's got a very good first step, and and he recovers very well. As, and 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 we've seen how elusive Kamara is. But you know, let's don't forget about their other back. I, I think they've got a very good tandem of backs, and. You know, we've got to count for both guys, and, and they are putting both guys on the field at the same time now, so they, you know, they can pretty much do anything uh, with those two backs. So I, I think, you know, it's not just about what Luke can do, but, you know, how TD fits into the equation, how Shaq fits into the equation as well, because, you know, we've got to be able to match up with both those guys uh, as far as stopping the run and then having to defend them in the pass game. Well, with that in mind, there was a lot of talk in there today about being better tacklers uh, mm -hmm. with with less meeting in mind. How big a focus has that been this week uh, from co a coaching standpoint? Well, I, I know, you know, from just our first day of practice, you know, it, it's something we emphasize every Wednesday. And, and, you know, when you go back and you look at the tape, you can't help but notice that we did miss some tackles. So um, it's obviously something that, that the players see and something that obviously the coaches have talked about. Ron, can you tell, like, how much fresher Julius is going into the playoffs because you guys have taken care of him during the season um, right now than you might normally have been? I couldn't tell you because this is the, you know, the only year I've had Julius you know, uh, with us. Um, but I will say you know, it doesn't look like his play has dropped off. Uh, and if it has, it's, 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 it's very little. Um, you know, he still plays at a high level. He you know, played a heck of a game on, on last Sunday. And uh, you know, hoping that he'll continue that trend and keep playing well. I guess it's that time of year, so it shouldn't be all that surprising. But has Cam been staying late the past two nights? Did yeah, you know? but he's for the most part that's what he typically does. You know, the the first couple of days of game planning, he's he's around. He gets an opportunity to you know pop in and visit with the coaches, stuff like that. And um, you know, it, it's just kind of how he does things. So it's not any different than regular. No, season. no, I don't. I don't think people quite know what you know things that he does. Have you seen any sort of different level of focus out of him this week? Uh, not necessarily, Joe. I, I, you know, I mean, he's 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 always locked in. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things that that you know we all know the intensity level does pick up in this game, these games in the playoffs. So, you know, um, I don't know. I'm just I'm used to seeing it, so I'm, I I don't take much stock of that. Some of the guys in the locker room said he seemed particularly calm that 
he had totally moved on, like you had said, from the Atlanta game. Would you say that's very much so, and I'd like to believe that the rest of the guys did as well. You know, as I said, you know, there's nothing that do, that game can do for us other than learn from it, um, and and I believe we've done that. So we've moved on to, to getting ready for for New Orleans and you know getting ready to play on Sunday. Will you practice in the stadium all week this week, Ron? Well, um, we'll see. Again, we'll we'll check the fields, we'll check the conditions, and. We'll make a decision in the morning like we did uh, today. Was that done for temperature's sake or field condition or what was? What combination was of things. When you were limiting Cam in training camp, could you have foreseen him leading the team in rushing this year? No. Um, Is that what he's done this year? Well, it, it, I, I think it's, it's one of those things where, you know, when you go back and look at how we've spread the ball, you know, uh, to the different guys we've used. I think that's part of it. You know, the only one real focus uh, other than the quarterback, you know, your two backs and, and, and what both Jonathan and, you know, and, and, and Christian have done has, has, has been solid for us. So I think it's, you know, you talk about, okay, the quarterback position has done this, but what has the running back position done for us? And he's in rare historic error with some of that. I mean, yes, he's been he around is. a long time. I mean, I mean, he's pretty special, you know, and, and, and we know that. And, and the biggest thing we have to do more so than anything else is everything we do with him has to be done judiciously. You know, we can't overexpose him. And at the same time, he's got to make good decisions as well. How would you describe the mood of this team right now facing the Saints for the third time? It doesn't seem like it's as high as it's been. It seems a little different. But how would you describe the mood of the team? I almost say businesslike. You know, I think that that's kind of their approach. You know, we, we know this is the second season. Um, you know, what you did, uh, you know, the last 17 weeks, you know, it just all it does is just means it was all about positioning. Now you got to make the best out of your position. And how do you like that versus you like these guys maintain their, their uh, personality? Are you well, I like them doing how they feel. I mean, we'll see. You know, you can't tell. I mean, I've been in where the locker room has been tremendously loose and we hadn't played well, and I've seen where it's been, you know, tremendously businesslike and they've played well. So we'll see. Is business like how you would, though, maybe expect for a team with your kind of playoff experience? Um, I think, you know, again, it's it, the, the, the locker room's going to take the mood that they have. I mean, these guys, you know, uh, you know, earlier today, these guys had the music on. So it's, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, I guess it's just whatever mood you catch them in. Some of the younger players said, um, obviously there's a lot of playoff experience, but some of the younger guys who haven't been in a playoff game we're saying that you know it's just another game to them. What does that say about how they've carried themselves throughout the season? Well, I like to believe it shows that um, you know they realize and recognize that when we talk about how important a game is, uh, they realize that the one we're about to play is the most important one. So hopefully that stuck, sticks with them and they understand you know this is an important game and 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 hopefully things work out and next week will be more important. Ron, with their running backs and the way they've played defense at times this year, is this one of the more challenging Saints team you've had to game plan for here? Um, yes, just but 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 in a different sense. So again, this is also one of the more balanced attacks they've had, um, you know, since I've been uh, I've been the head coach here. Um, you know what, what Coach Payton does? He mixes things up very well. He relies on his quarterback sometimes, um, and they have a whole new different weapon this year in Kamara and 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 the tandem of two backs they have. So um, it is most certainly a challenge, a uh, different kind of challenge than the ones we're used for we're used to in the past. Do you have any kind of sense of pride in? in with everything that this team is going through off the field and all the distractions that, that you guys were able to kind of zero in and focus and get to where you want to? Very much so. I'm very proud of what the, what the coaches have done and what the players have done and, and what the support people and the people around us here in this building have done. I mean, it has been a, a tumultuous year with a lot of ups and downs. But I think the, the focus has always been, you know, going out and playing our best. And, and, and again, it, it happens because we have tremendous support people. We have tre a tremendous group of players in that locker room with high character. And we've got, you know, a good coaching staff. I mean, those guys work very hard. And, 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 you know, the coaches and players, and like I said, our support staff, our people around her should all be praised for being able to focus in and do the best they can every day. Good. All right. Great. Cool. Thanks, Thank you, guys.